welcome again and thanks for joining us for our links 007 tv let's talk the mysterious discovery of the body of a social media sensation Slikiana has since sent shockwave throughout the entire social media realms and has still left many people puzzled as to what might have happened to the actual female herself so this is what now we're going to be actually talking about on the program if it's the first time you're watching please remember to like and share and subscribe to the channel click the notification bell and click on all so you're always updated with our latest report we'll be right back after this short break Welcome back and thanks for joining us for the program. This is Links 007 TV. Let's talk. This is the place where we discuss issues of national importance, global importance, or just situations that are buzzing in the news. So the mysterious disappearance and then discovery of the body of Slikiana Towson has since sent shockwave through the entire social media realm and still left her family puzzled and friends as to why someone would want to took the life of such a beautiful and wonderful female so the police listed an individual as a person of interest in the disappearance of the female Rashawn Patterson is the man that the police want to talk to in relation to the case so he was listed as a person of interest not as a suspect so he's not an individual that is wanted however the police believe that he can share some very vital information as to what might have happened to the female considering the fact that he would have been the last individual that was seen with the female when she was in Montego Bay. So the female went to Montego Bay sometime prior to her discovery of her body and then what happened thereafter when she made that journey to Montego Bay still there are some missing pieces of the puzzle and the police still cannot really concrete any substantial evidence as to what might have led to her demise her cause of death has still not yet been released by the police and the police have not really provided the public with an official statement just a written report as to what happened and how the discovery of the body was made so this individual now was a social media influencer and she actually were doing her thing and she was described as a social media influencer with a large social media following on instagram among other platforms so with that said this has left many people puzzled considering the fact that she was well known in the social media world and also in public life as well as she actually gone and a whole lot of friends using the social media networks that are out there so it's very unfortunate to see what happened to her and the family right now is left in total awe and disbelief based on the fact that just a few weeks ago she would have been alive and now the female is actually deceased with no real substantial claim as to what might have happened to her so the individual now that is the person of interest Roshan Patterson who was listed by the police as the one wanted in questioning our person of interest in relation to the case has so far done an interview with a youtuber and i actually watched the interview and he stated that he don't have anything to do with the actual taking out of the female and he's actually innocent however he listed someone else that the police should talk to so we're not sure whether or not the police will follow up on those information that was given by him however he stated in his interview that he was meeting Sikiana for the very first time and that this would have been the first occasion that they actually saw each other face to face however he stated that they have spoken on social media platform and might be even exchanged text messages and so but this was actually the first time they actually came into contact with each other now if that is actually so then it's very alarming to see that the first time you met an individual then the, the, the individual turn up deceased that's a bit strange but not pointing any fingers because i don't really want to speculate on the case itself because it's still an ongoing investigation and the police still have not provided any 
concrete details as to what they believe might have happened so i don't really want to draw any type of conclusion in order to bring the case into disrepute or actually to deter investigators from the actual case itself so we just have to just continue watching and see what really will happen in the case because it's still early days yet and the police still can't even provide the least amount of evidence right now in order to substantiate what might have happened to the female and this has left her family um, in total shock because many people want to actually have an idea as to why her life was taken and up to date no real evidence have been provided in relation to the case as to what might have happened to the actual female so it's still early days and we are just hoping that the police can put some level of closure to the incident because this is one that the police actually need to step up their game at because she is still one of those individuals that would have made a positive contribution to society and when we look on how these females are losing their life similar thing that happened to the other female the other day Donna Lee and we actually realized how that case pan out we actually saw that the police was actually the one that was actually a part of the whole entire plot in order to get rid of that female so we can't really take anything for granted in this case we have to look on all avenues when it comes on to these types of cases because no one knows who the suspect can be so we just have to just put those measures in place and just hope that the police can actually find some way and means of actually settling the actual case itself because trust me right now the social media world is just trying to put the pieces of the puzzles together and it's actually hard because people did not really expect this to happen to the female because she was so loved in the social media world and the police theorized though that someone that she met might be the one behind the whole entire situation that took place with her however they can't really point their finger on a specific person to state that that one is the one that is actually the prime suspect they have only so far listed a person of interest in relation to the case so with that said the police still have a whole lot of work to do and we just have to just allow them to spend that quality time in order to carry out a thorough investigation and i believe that the police will make um, some breakthrough within the case i strongly believe that they will find some way and means of solving this case once the individual that is listed as person of interest turn himself into the police and the police can actually carry out a thorough investigation into the matter then i believe that they will put some level of closure to the case but until then we have been left puzzled and we will continue to be puzzled until the police try to put those missing pieces of the puzzle together because it's not going to be an easy case to solve because considering the fact that she was only seen with one individual and that individual has so far fled the island so it was confirmed by the individual himself on an interview Roshan Patterson that he's not actually in Jamaica anymore he actually fled the island so people might be wondering why this individual would fled the island so he said that he fled the island based on security reasons that he was getting a whole other threat and that he was in fear of his life so that's the main reason why he fled however he did not state which country he was in or whether or not he left the country by legal means however i'm just assuming that he did not left the country by legal means considering the fact that the police said that he was actually still in the country so the police would have made checks at the airport to see whether a flight was booked under his name and the police have not so far confirmed that so i'm going to state that the police believe that he is actually in jamaica however he is not he have left the country and he stated that he will return in order to be questioned by the police not sure when that will happen so we just have to wait and see when that will actually happen i'm actually passing some knives at the moment so my audio might not be that clear so i'm just going to give you a break right here 
and then I will come back. So I've passed the knives right now. All I can say is that females need to start taking this proactive approach in their own personal safety and their own personal well-being because we're living in a time right now where it is so hard and people themselves, you can't even trust your very own right now. So you have to just know that that is how it goes and we can't really begin to be afraid of what is going on around us because what is going on around us is a reality. We just need to just put the measures in place and try to find the best avenue of dealing with certain situations. And when you see certain red flags, please don't ignore them. Because most of the time people, they have seen the red flags and they ignore them. And most of the time they don't even survive to tell the tale of what transpired to them. And we have seen that playing out over and over and over again. So people need to just start be mindful of what is going on around us and knowing that we are living in a world where crime and violence is very rampant and it's a sad situation but we just have to be mindful of it and just try the very best and means and ways of protecting our own life in the world that we're living in females need to start take this approach and try their very best in order to protect themselves because no one's not going to do it for you some of the times you've seen so many instances where your life could have been taken and some don't actually take any heed however what happened to this female Sikiana I can tell you it's a very sad and unfortunate situation and I hope that the family does find the strength to cope because I know that this is going to be a difficult one for them and I hope that the family does find that courage in order to press on because it's going to take them some time to get over this tragic killing of such a wonderful female this is where I believe I'm going to leave this report though. Thanks for watching. This has been Links 007 TV. Let's talk. If it's the first time you're watching, please remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell and click on all so you're always updated with our latest report. Peace out and have a blessed and productive Sunday from the Links TV team.